Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to graph inverse function using table of values. And this is the fifth part. I will put the link of the first, second, third, and fourth part in the description box below. So let's take this first example right here. Given the graph below, which is this graph right here, sketch the graph of its inverse using table of values. The first step is from the graph, we create a table. So um, I'm just gonna label this as S1 right here. Okay, so this um, table of value that we have here is for f of x, which is this function right here, which is labeled as f of x. To determine what are the numbers that we put in here, we you can pick any, you can start anywhere around here, but let's start with this one here. So that would be five and one. So I write five and one, and I will do the rest of them here. Okay, so that's the first step. Um, I determine the coordinates of each of these uh, dots. Now let's move on to the second step. Create the table of values for the inverse function by switching the input x and the output y values from the table in the first step. So pretty much this one right here, we just have to switch these values. So I'm just gonna label this as S2, and then this S2 again, is uh, the table of values for the inverse function. So I will draw the table. Okay, so again, this table of value is for the inverse f negative one of x. In order that we can fill this table in, we just have to use these numbers here, but we flip it around. So what's going on here is that I, uh, the y becomes the x and then the x becomes the y in order that we can determine its inverse. Now we are ready to sketch the uh, shape of the graph of its inverse. So we're gonna start with one five. So it's gonna be here. So I can label this as f negative one of x. And then as you can see here, if we uh, draw the line of symmetry, which is y is equal to x. We can see from the picture that these two are a match. So they are symmetric. So this one right here is the graph of its inverse, this one was the other, the, the function f of x, and this is its inverse f negative one of x. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we uh, go through this uh, problem right here. First, we are going to uh, have the first step. So I'm just gonna label that as S1 right here. From the graph, create a table. So there are one, two, three, four, five dots here. So I will create the table. Okay, and this table is for f of x, which is this function right here. So you can start anywhere, it doesn't matter, but let's start over here. So this one right here is five and three. So I'm gonna write five and three. And then I will have to determine the rest of the uh, coordinates of each of these dots. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to create a table of values for the inverse function by switching the input x and the output y values from the, tab from the table of the first step. So pretty much we label this as step two, so I will create the same table right here. Okay, so the one that I fill in here would be, I switch this value. So the Y becomes the X and then the X becomes the Y. So this would be three and five, and then I will do the rest of them. Okay, and this second step right here is the table of values for F negative one of X or the table of values for the inverse of this uh, function right here. So then we are now ready to sketch the um, graph for this. So we start with three, five. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be right here.
Okay, so as you can see here, the graph is again symmetric with respect to the uh, line of symmetry, which is y is equal to x. Okay, so as you can see here, this uh, two lines, the f of x, and then again, we label this as f negative one of x. They are actually symmetric. That means they are gonna match up. They're gonna be on top of each other if we fold it across y is equal to x. Did you get the same shape of graph like this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.